Hello everyone, welcome to Sudocoder. This is Ravina, and today we are going to look at problem number 215, which is kth largest element in an array. Now let's start by reading the problem statement. It says that given an integer array nums and an integer k, return the kth largest element in the array. Note that it is the kth largest element in the sorted order, not the kth distinct element. And it also asks us that can you solve it without sorting. So if you look at this example number one, we have a nums array and then we have a k. So the problem statement says that we have to get the kth largest element from this array, provided that the nums array is sorted. So for example, if we, you know, sort this array uh, and then we get the second last element since k is 2. So we get the second last element from that array. So let's see the problem statement and also see how we can solve this. Let's move on to the notepad. So I have this example, uh, example number one from lead code. Uh, so the initial thing is, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to our mind is uh, we have to sort the array and then we have to get the second last element. So one way of going through it is, you know, we just sort the array. So we have one two, three, four, five, and six. And since our k is two, so we want the second largest element. So if we go from right to left, so this is the first largest element, and then this is the second largest element, and this is our answer. But if you look at the problem statement, it also says, can you solve this without sorting? How do we solve this uh, without sorting? So there are uh, there are different ways of solving this but um, i'm going to solve this using heap the only reason i'm using heap is because i know there is a quick select uh, option of solving it which is even you know better with time complexity but i think it's uh, a bit difficult to come up with that solution during interview and the heap solution is actually more intuitive so that's why i'm gonna go with the heap solution so that you know we have to make our lives easy in interviews right we should be able to explain to the interviewer what we are thinking how we are progressing so i think this is an easy one to uh, do it with the use of heap and it also demonstrates your understanding of it so let's go ahead and see how we can solve this using heap okay so i have this array with me uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through the array and as I go through the array, I'm going to push the elements onto my heap. And the one condition that I'm going to check is that once my length of heap is actually greater than k, which is uh, the number that is provided to us, uh, we are going to pop from the heap. Now, how does it look like? Okay. So first, I am here. I'm pointing to 3. So I add that to my heap. So this is my heap. Okay. So I have one element in my heap. I'm going to check, is my length of heap? So I have, you know, length of heap. So right now it is one. So is my length of heap uh, greater than my k? No, it is not. One is not greater than two. So is one greater than two? No. Okay, so I go on to my next element. I see two. So I add it to my heap. So, so you know, right? Uh, in in python or uh, in python we have minimum heap so whenever i add an item to my heap it is going to rearrange itself all right so it is going to look something like two and then three provide uh, because two is going to be the minimum so it's going to come on the top so that is going to be the root uh then again you know my my uh now my length of heap is going to increase so right now if you check my length of heap is two there are two elements in the heap so my length of heap is 2 i will check is my length of heap greater than k so is 2 greater than 2 no so it's 2 greater than 2 no it is not okay i go ahead into my list i get 1 so i add that 1 to my heap so when i add this 1 to my heap it is going to rearrange itself so it is going to be 1 2 and 3 so this is how the heap is going to look and then my length of heap is going to change since we added one uh, one uh, element to it so it is become it is going to become 3 now we will check is my length of heap which is 3 greater than 
my k2 uh, yes it is we have one extra element in the heap so what we are going to do is we are going to pop from the heap now why is this important okay this is important because if we do this we are going to have at the most uh, k plus one elements in our heap okay so for example since we are checking if the length of heap is greater than k that means at the most there are going to be two plus one that is three elements in the heap and once we find those we are going to pop from the heap and how does this not affect our solution it's because we have to find the kth largest element so here even if we pop one even if we pop one we still have two elements which are larger than one so that means it is not going to affect our solution it is not going to affect it in a negative way like that we are popping something that we need no we don't need one because one is less than two and three and since we want the largest second element we can pop one okay so we are going to pop one from this heap so once we do that we are back to the heap where we have two and three now we go to the next element we get five we add that to our heap so we have two three and five so once we add that to the heap our length of heap actually becomes three again now my length of heap is three i will see is three greater than two yes it is okay so i pop one element from the heap so two will be popped okay we do that and then we end up with three and five now we encounter six we add that to our heap so i'm going to draw my heap again so three five and six now i check now the length of my heap is again three so length of heap is again three so i check is three greater than two so length of heap greater than my k which is two so is three greater than two yes it is okay we pop from the heap so this is gonna get popped after that is done my heap is gonna look like five and six with two elements in it okay i go on to my next element which is four I add that to my heap so this time I don't have to redraw it because it's in the right sequence so my heap no it is not my bad so I add it to my heap so it becomes four five and six okay so now the length of heap is again three I check is three greater than two yes it is okay we pop this element four now after doing this ultimately my heap looks like this and if you see i am at the end of my array so once i'm at the end of the array what i can do is i can simply return the topmost element in my heap so i return five and you know what that is what we want so we find the kth largest element in the array so i hope this explanation was helpful now let's see how we can code this first thing that we need is a heap so i do heap and then i go through all the elements in my array so for every number in nums what do i do i push to my heap so i do heap q dot heap push and then here i have to provide the name of my heap which is this heap and then the item so what do i want to push i want to push the number that i'm iterating through okay so once i put uh, push to the number what do i do i check right i check if my length of heap is greater than k if that is true then we pop from the heap so we do heap dot heap pop and then we give the heap that's how you do it in python so uh i pop from the heap now once this for loop you know uh finishes 
what do we have to do we just simply have to return whatever is on the top of the heap which is heap of zero so that's really the solution it's very simple it's very straightforward it just has to uh, do with your understanding of heap and how can you use it uh, there are a lot of problems on lead code that use this logic so i decided to stick with it so that you know uh, i can find relative problems and then i can help you guys to have a set of problems that follow a set of solutions okay uh, so i am going to run it let me expand this okay it's able to compile so i submit it's taking some time all right so it is as you can see it is accepted uh, now let's talk about the space and time complexity uh, as we briefly touched the uh, time complexity is going to be here uh, n log k why because uh, if you see in the for loop we are going through every element so that is n elements and then here if you see the heap is having how many elements at the most it is going to have k plus one so if you remember whenever we had you know length of k greater uh, length of heap greater than k we pop it from the heap so that means that there are at the most k plus one elements in the heap so it is going to take log of k time to uh, perform the heap e5 function where it arranges itself arranges the elements in the heap and so the time complexity is going to be n log k because n because we are iterating through all the numbers and log k because when we push to the heap the heap performs uh, you know its own sorting where it uh, brings the minimum on the top and that is what happens when you do a heap dot push so that's the time complexity what about the space complexity the space complexity here is going to be k because at one time heap is storing k plus one and since we drop constants uh, when doing complexities it is going to be k because at the most the heap is storing k elements okay so i hope this explanation was helpful i hope it was intuitive uh, if you like my video please like or comment below uh, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see such solutions uh, in the future and I also have my Python course, uh, which is coming up this week. So stay tuned and look forward to your feedback on the videos. Also, the code is going to be on my GitHub as usual. I will link the uh, I will link the Git uh, GitHub link below in the description. And also, uh, I have a Discord channel, so feel free to join that if you have any questions. We can connect, and yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye